Hey everyone, welcome to Overlining World and in this video we're going to be doing one of the best upgrades you can do for your rooftop tent. We are David and Tiffany and oh yeah, there's Larry our Land Rover. And here at Overlanding World we're diving into reviews and how to's that you as an overlanding enthusiast want to know. So buckle up and join us on this adventure all here at Overlanding World. Alright, so if any of you guys have a soft top rooftop tent or have seen one, you see that they have these straps on the top that actually secure um, the cover that goes on the uh, rooftop tent. And that's what we have too here on the Smitty Built Gen 2. Um, it comes with this type of clip, so this goes on one side and if the uh, strap actually just bolts under. Um, one thing we've had a uh, notice about these is one that they're very difficult to kind of strap down. As you see, it's a Velcro mechanism, so you really have to yank it really, really hard to pull down which could be kind of difficult, especially if you have blankets and stuff that you want to keep in the tent. It's really, really hard to pull that down and get it secure. Another thing is that it's Velcro. So it, ours is already kind of fraying a lot. Um, and so one, it's not being as, um, what's the word? Sticky, I don't want to say sticky, but it's not like, it's not closing as well as it could be. Another thing with this is that um, having Velcro and it getting wet um, obviously it's not going to be as secure when you're trying to close it. So that's another big thing is um, depending on weather conditions, if you have the tent on top of the car and it's raining, for example, um, and this gets wet, it's going to be really hard to get this Velcro staying on there. And over time, it's just not going to work as well. So that's the upgrade that we're doing today on our Smitty Built Gen 2 tent. Um, but this can really be done on any type of soft top tent that you have. So let's get into it. All right guys, so this is how it looks on the tent. We just actually took that other one off so we could start measuring it and such. But um, again, it Velcro's up like this. We actually um, put this through the loop, kind of like a belt buckle would be. And so it is a bit more secure this way. However, I can't even get it off, honestly. But with the, um, with the Velcro, like we said, it does like wear over time and it's really hard to pull it down all the way to get it really tight and secure. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna re be replacing these. As you can see, they just come with three uh, uh, screws with a little metal plate that's holding the strap in on both sides. So it's really simple. You can literally just replace this, screw them back into their place that they already have, and then you have a new strap that's very functional. So we're gonna be replacing these black straps with the red ones. We got this from Amazon. I think it was uh, $11 for the whole roll. I think it's like 10 yards or something. So that should be enough. And we're gonna replace the these clip things, like the belt buckle thing with these plastic ones. I go like this. Everybody's seen these on backpacks and everything. So this, I think the whole pack of like 10 was $8 or something on Amazon. We'll put the links down below. Hope they work. And also importantly, you also need a polyester string to like tie these together kind of like this. It's important to get like a strong string that doesn't like wear over time and won't break like a year down the line because it's kind of hard to like string everything together. So yeah, only three components and I think in total it was like $15, $16, pretty cheap and it should like help us out a lot to hold the cover down and also make it like super easy to clip everything down together. So. Let's get cutting and show you guys how to measure everything. Okay, so we measured out the black one, how long it is, and the red one and the the, the string that we're upgrading it with. We just have a little bit longer because in case we need to shorten it, you always want to have it longer than sh shorter. And like as we said before, we're upgrading this buckle thing with the clip on one. Now, what you if you guys, for whoever does this, make it themselves, uh, the part that accepts the clip is the part you put on the long one because this is what has the adjustment right so just so this part shut like this and everything should be good all right i don't think we're gonna figure out how to teach you guys how to sew so i recommend watching a different youtube video on <laughs> how to sew or find a mom or a grandma, or a grandma yeah or so like ask them for their cookie box and then learn because I think we're gonna struggle 
We forgot to mention this while filming, but we can't take credit for the idea of these straps. Uh, we actually stumbled upon this at an expo that we went to in San Diego a few months back. Uh, we saw a family-owned business called The Happy Strappy, who were making these straps that go on the outside of the tent, as well as the ones that strap down the inside and connect to the actual tent. Uh, we're not working with this company at all, but just wanted to give credit to their to uh, their idea since it's a great one. Uh, you may ask why like we did not purchase their products and decided to make our own, and the reason was because we wanted to make a video out of it, and also uh, David and I love working together and doing projects, so we thought it would be really fun. And uh, if you guys want to check them out, we'll have their website and Instagram uh, linked in the description. All right. Ow! What? Ow. I just stuck my finger. This isn't going very well. So, uh, this is I'm what my mom did. Okay. I'm better Pretty at Pretty straight. Things. Really nice. Whatever. Three lines. This is the best I could come up with. <laughs> oh, cricket. Doesn't matter as long as it works. Yeah. I mean, I mean like it holds. Yeah. So, one done. Tim's working on the second one. Well, the, for the other part. The other part. Well, yeah, the other short one. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it could be done over a weekend. Has oh, been. in a day. What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, in, in, like, yeah, like, five hours. Five hours? How long? How long do you think we're going to be here? I don't know. I mean, we've been here for, like, two hours already. No, it's been, like, an hour. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, the first side is going on. So, these are almost... Uh, so we're just tightening them in pretty simple right we just sewed that and then we're just tightening these down so the middle one is gonna go through the fabric and then this one just on the side and then we're leaving this one on for now and then so that we can show you guys like uh, the good side and then I guess the shitty stock side flung the side over and now we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side which is just bolt that in with a little metal plate so that's what he's going to do right now um i think we did kind of make the strap like too long like it's going to be like flapping in the wind but i mean better safe than sorry we can always just cut it right now and then we'll be set so we'll check back in about a minute once we get it bolted in okay so this side's done we go in, uh, click, and then you just pull this down, and it's tight. Nice. There you go. Look how so, much extra we have. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta cut this guy. So, but it's so much nicer. So, to click it off like that, to put it back together, well, I guess you can add some, and then clip it, and then fix this, tighten it. But compared to this, we have the Velcro, and then you gotta do the whole thing, and it's just so much nicer. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. This was just a little short video about how you can improve uh, rooftop tent life just to make it a little bit easier. Really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, um, we'll try to link everything down below. Um, hit us in the comments, or you can check us out at on Instagram at overlanding underscore world, and we'll see you in the next one.